Kill zone, baby. Kill zone. That's it. Come on. Oh, come on. Don't cheat, man. Huh? huh? Take a left. You do it. Take a left. I'll cover you. No way, man. Damn. Ambush. Oh, I'm hit. Hey, what the? Get out of here, man. I'm allergic. All right, I'll, I'll call upstairs. They sting me, I'm toasting. All right, uh, look, uh, we got a problem. Hey, honey, it's just like the airport. Don't call me, honey. Me and the missus go through a little rough, that. Don't get personal now. No tengo nada, no dinero, no oro. You guys weren't eating donuts, were you? They go crazy for donuts. I've got to squirt you down. But you got to wear these jeans. Good at you. All right, we'll smoke them out and suck them up. You guys been beekeeping. That boy's gonna have a headache when he wakes up. Jelani, Clark, we're in place. Copy. Five by five, boss. Video override engaged. Initiating replacement feed. Ready? Affirmative. Go ahead, Mark. Frankie, it's on your left. Got it. Primary saddle access doors open. You are good to go. Bingo. That's a crappy job. Special Agent in Charge, John Kilmer, Homeland Security. Half of the federal government has been on alert looking for this warhead. You have a hell of a lot of nerve to pull a stunt like that, you son of a bitch. And who are you? Special Agent Frankie Elroy Kilmer. Ex-wife, sir. I should have been given a heads up about this. That's protocol. Yes, sir. In the old world, you're right. But no terrorist is going to follow protocol. And you two what? Go around the country stealing warheads? When the president asks us to. Every morning, the president receives a report that updates the most active terrorist threats against the United States. This report is called the Threat Matrix. The Department of Homeland Security handpicked teams of agents from the CIA, the FBI, and the NSA to analyze and respond to the Threat Matrix report. Now, their job is to keep us safe. Thank you. Please speak. 
speak a random sentence. Well, first he touched my shoulders and then he ran his hands down my back until he got to my... Thank you. Voice recognition confirmed. Retinal scan confirmed. 108 pounds. We are locking confirmed. Thank you, we are. This is worse than Weight Watchers. Yeah, but Lark, you know it's the only way to verify if there's only one person standing in the portal. Who the hell am I gonna bring down here when I got you guys? Holly! Hey, girl. Shh. I did not use Echelon to spy on my ex-girlfriend. That would be Tim here. <laughs> he got me. <laughs> Where's Kilmer? Atkins called him to the White House. Something about bees. Okay, if there are no more questions on today's briefing, Secretary Ridge asked me to give you a follow-up on the steps being taken to combat terrorism. Shortly after 9-11, at the request of the President, the Department of Homeland Security handpicked 10 teams of agents from the CIA, the FBI, and the NSA to analyze and respond to the threat matrix report. Now, their job is to keep us safe. The government's echelon network can monitor email, phone calls, fax transmissions. Uh, what assurance do we have that echelon won't be used to spy on Americans? Because it's against the law, Pat. Next question. We're hearing reports that security has been stepped up at our nation's Minuteman missile sites. Is the DOE concerned about a possible terrorist attack? The Department of Energy is continually establishing new protocols for the safety of the nuclear arsenal. We commend their work and ongoing vigilance. Colonel, sir, would you ever negotiate with terrorists to prevent an attack? We do not negotiate with terrorists under any circumstances. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have. The threat level today is low. Our number one goal is to keep it that way. The President wishes you all a safe and pleasant weekend. Catch. Brought you some money. I've been getting calls from the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, head of the House Armed Services Committee. You have to stand outside his window carrying the damn thing. You asked me to get his attention. The damn bees? You bump bees into the air vents? Yes, sir. 3,500. So you knew one of their guys was allergic to bees? We did our research. Frankie went with you? She didn't want to miss the show. Now, how come you didn't get stung? These were all drones, no stingers. Your idea? Nope. Queen be yourself. Frankie. I can't understand why you let that one get away. You must be quite an ass. So she says. Page three. We need your team to check out something that came in hot this morning. Swiss drug dealer being detained in Jakarta got in touch with our embassy there last night. Apparently he's facing the death penalty for smuggling narcotics, and he's asking for asylum in the U.S. in exchange for his intel. But well, what's he trading? Claims an AQ cell is headed to the United States, due to arrive in 72 hours. How credible is this guy? You tell me. The Indonesian government's willing to play ball, but this guy will only speak to someone with White House authorization. You'll have a dossier uploaded to your PPX before you land. Now, you know the drill. You get the information, get him, and you get back here. You know, you worry too much. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'll miss you. Yeah, for about five minutes. <sighs> Are you up for this, Mrs. Kilmer? I'm not Mrs. Kilmer anymore. You know, I can get the CIA to cover this. Yeah, you could. But the Charlie Brothers will never get you what you want. All right, listen up. Frankie's in the air. She touches down in Jakarta in eight hours. Our job is to get her ready for an interrogation. So we have to find out everything we can on Mr. Mark Rodenmacher, Swiss German, arrested for drug trafficking. Holly, log on to Interpol, get his sheet and his prints. Find out if he uses an alias. Mark, use your people over at Justice to start running his financials, where he lives, who he owes, Jelani. Find out who's paying his bill. Outside with my DEA contacts in Jakarta, figure out if this guy's a player. Good, Tim, don't stop there. Money to break this guy. Let's find some stuff we can use against him. Does he have a mistress? Does he have a habit? You know how Frankie gets when we don't do our homework. Hey, Mo, find out if he's got any known Al-Qaeda connections. See if anybody's talking out there. I'll set us around the monorail, cell phone, radio, and fax transmissions in and out of Indonesia. I'll be listening to the mellow sound of Betawi, Indonesian, and Balinese. Brian Frame. Yeah, we got you. Pagila. Saya biasa.
As you can see, my hosts have not been too gracious. They do not value human life as you and I value human life. Are you lying? You traffic heroin. <coughs> you Americans and your ethics. Your country bombs the hell out of Afghanistan, but do you never bomb a single poppy field? Why is that? Could it be that someone high up in America actually wants the drugs to come through? Let's get one thing straight, okay? I didn't come here to chit-chat about foreign policy. If what you say checks out, I'll have you on the next plane out of here. If not, I will leave you here to be executed by the government of Indonesia. Right to the point. I like that. Okie dokie. A shipping container with a cell of terrorists inside left Jakarta three weeks ago. Pull up everything on shipping Jakarta. They tricked it out on the inside, you see. Toilet, hot plate, heater. And you supply them. I merely play piggy in the middle. The ship, the port. You sold them your app. Which port? East coast, west coast? Which port? I don't know. Frankie, the FBI just sent me the photo I asked for. You're gonna like this. Give me the details. He's got a brother, Tristan. Cover shot in Bangkok five years ago. We own him. I'm sending you the JPEG now. He's living in Arizona. The JPEG was taken six hours ago. Listen, Ron and you gotta give me something. The port of destination, now the rest on the plane. Otherwise... Otherwise they kill me if you leave me here. Yes, I know this. But how do I know that I can trust you? The weather is very nice in Arizona. What the hell does that mean? It's a message from your brother, Tristan. Brother? My brother is dead. He was murdered in Bangkok. The message from your brother. The weather is very nice in Arizona. When was this photo made? Six hours ago. Your brother Tristan is alive in witness protection. We do this in America. We can do this for you, for your family. Tell me what I want to know. Your name? Marcus Anton Albert Rodenmacher. You're facing the death penalty for drug trafficking, is that correct? Yes. You're directly responsible for helping transport a cell of terrorists to the United States. Yes. What is the port of destination? San Francisco. Frankie checks out. Get him on the plane. Once your wheels are up, we need to know the name of the ship and his contacts. Talk to you in an hour. You're good. Second. There's a shipping container headed our way from Jakarta. Who is in it and their objective, we don't know. How long does it take to get to San Francisco from Jakarta in one of those ships? About three weeks. Somebody's got to be talking out there. Mo, work your Southeast Asia connections. We're looking for U.S. bound ships leaving Jakarta within the last 30 days for San Francisco. Should we shut down the harbor? Not yet. It's one of the busiest seaports in the world. You shut it down, the entire West Coast panics. I pulled up Rademacher's bank records. There was a $500,000 wire transfer into his account four weeks ago. The $500,000 came from Global Crossroads, a Kuala Lumpur-based charity which is supposed to help orphans get medical treatment. An AQ front? Rademacher's a lot of things. An orphan ain't one of them. I pulled all the AQ profiles from Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines. Two names keep repeatedly showing up. Abu Bakr Bashir, he's the godfather, runs a training camp in Malaysia. His protege, Kambali, even more dangerous. Kambali, right. The chief suspect bombing those Christian churches in Malaysia and Indonesia. Now, Kambali's been working with Al-Qaeda since 1990.